What's going on guys, it's Jaren from WetSisters.com here with a first impression on the Adidas Rose 5. They're finally here people, they're finally here. I have been anticipating the shoe ever since I first saw Boost Foam. I said, yo, when are we gonna get that on a basketball sneaker? And we got it on the Crazy Light Boost, but it was only featured in the heel, which in my opinion was not such a great move by Adidas Basketball, but now they're making up for it with the Rose 5 with full length boost. Let's get straight into it with the traction. As you can see, you have an interesting setup here. In the front, you have just your standard rubber, and then you have a translucent outsole on the midfoot and heel over here. This white part, the standard rubber, is very pliable. It should perform very, very well. It looks very similar to what we see on the Jordan 29, that wavy design, and the Superfly as well. And then you get to the translucent part, and it has these little um, diamonds here that are really close together, so dust might get in between that pattern, but you never know. Same pattern here, Featured on the heel. I love in the three stripes here. That's one of my favorite features that have always been in Rose models was the three stripes. Usually they're featured here on the heel. Instead, they put D Rose's logo on there, which I'm a fan of because I don't think his logo gets enough love. Really nice logo. You have the rose with the D inside with the three petals representing his brothers. And then that boost unit, check it out. It's full length. As you can see better on this side, it goes all the way over here. This black part is standard EVA, so it's encased in the forefoot. Now it's definitely firmer than what you see on like a pure boost or something like that. When you're just idle, you don't really feel the boost that much, but when you put pressure on the cushion setup, you can feel the boost. It, it's almost like the boost activates when you're using it. So when you're sprinting, the boost is going to activate. When you're landing, the boost is going to activate. At least that's what I got from it. You're definitely going to need to break it in, so give it a couple hours before you start judging the cushion setup. This is the best way to utilize boost full length in a basketball sneaker, and I can't wait to see how it performs on court. Now on to the colorway. This is the launch colorway. People are calling these the Brendas. Guys, these aren't the Brendas, okay? These are the blue line, the L train. This is a colorway that was seen on the Rose 2.0 back in the day. It represents a, a Chicago City Transit train, as you can see in the map here. So here it is on the left shoe, the tongue has a map of Chicago City Transit lines. The blue line is this one right here and comes across here. It's the Northwest and West line. It actually is the one that picks you up from O'Hare Airport. So that's what it represents. Brenda colorways are all red. Is this all red? No, there's blue laces. So very similar to the Rose 2.0 colorway. That shiny red material at first I wasn't a fan of, but then when I got them in hand and I wore them, I actually liked them. I don't like the way it uh, bends and flexes, but I like the way it looks. It is a really nice blue. You got the speckled laces, and you also got that one, his number in blue. You also got the blue X bar, which gives you torsional support and a little bit of spring back when you when you flex. The X bar conforms back to shape and gives you a little bit more spring. Here's the other tongue with a rose and a bunch of colors. These are all the colors of the train line, although I don't see the pink one, but you can see you got the, is that black or brown? I think it's brown, uh, blue, and red lines. That's all the lines that makes up Chicago City Transit line. So that, I think that's a cool touch, it's a little nod to his hometown. Shout outs to you. You also have another hit of blue here on the Adidas logo with a little area where you can put your laces through so you can show off that Adidas logo. Now going Going along the upper, it's a synthetic material. Like I said, I don't really like the way it bends and conforms. It reminds me of like a very early stages of a Hyperfuse. I, I believe the 2012 version I, I'm thinking of. It, it's okay. It's definitely durable, but it's just not my favorite. There's a Nubuck colorway, synthetic Nubuck colorway, the black one, which I'm really interested in. But for now, this is all we got. What it does have is a lot of perforations for airflow and heat to escape. Uh, this mesh tongue as well is extremely breathable. So breathability for me is key in a sneaker. If I was designing a sneaker, I'd make sure it had really good breathability. And then the ankle. Now this isn't GeoFit. It's similar in a way. Inside it's a mesh material. If you wear ankle wraps like Rose does, set up in the heel and ankle area is um, sufficient for you. Also this inner lining material is extremely nice and soft. I really like that. It's going to be extra comfortable during wear. So my overall thoughts on the Rose 5 is that it looks really, really nice. My favorite Rose model was the 2.0 and the 2.5 is actually my favorite basketball sneaker to play in on court of all time. Of course that's my opinion. I like the Rose 3. I thought the Rose 3.5 was decent and then Rose got injured and the Rose 4 and the Rose 4.5 
I got so depressed. I couldn't even look at it. I didn't buy it. I was just so sad that he got injured again. Oh, I was, he's my favorite player in the league. I followed him ever since his days in, in Memphis. I was so depressed, so I didn't get it. So I'm really excited to get back to the Rose line. It was my favorite line of playing basketball in on court. So to see Rose 5 come back really strong with a nice design, full length boost foam. These retail for 140. It's on the lower end of signature models. Of course, the J wall is a little cheaper, but you're not getting the tech that you're getting in the Rose 5. I know everyone's interested in how Boost is gonna feel on court. I can tell you right now, it's going to be great, but Boost has disappointed me before in some of their models like the Climate Chill Rocket Boost. So it's really important that we make sure here at Wetchesters that we're giving you honest opinions. So we're gonna ball on these on court and we're gonna see how they perform so you guys can get the most for your money. My overall first impressions are really strong, really solid. I have high expectations. I think it's a little bit unfair on how high the expectations are for the Rose 5, but you know what? Adidas tells us that Boost changes everything, so I better change everything. But that pretty much takes care of it for you guys. Let me guys know what you think of the Rose 5 in the comment section below. Till then guys, see you in the next one. Peace. Bye, Dita. Bye, Dita. Bye, Dita.